rip a piece of paper, write the 10 divided by 6 on it and then you burn the edges and just for safety it's good to keep a glass of water nearby and you can dip it in it if it's burning too much. A package has arrived. Let's take a look what's inside. So I know what's in here. These are the contact lenses. So the wig I ordered isn't a Mad Hatter wig because I didn't want to be wasteful and buy a wig that I can only wear for one specific costume. So I bought one that's longer, but of course it means that we're not gonna get the exact same result. And this is the second hand blazer that I bought. I also found striped pants in a thrift store. And then this beard that I'm going to use for the eyebrows. And just a ribbon in a DIY shop. For this thing, I thought I could just use these. They are a little bit different, but like I said, I don't want to be wasteful. So I'm going to use what I already have. And here I insert both ends of the thread into the spool and just pull at them so that they sit tightly on each other. Because I didn't find any pink shiny textile, I used the ribbon. And for this you don't even need to know how to sew. I mean it helps, but you can also just use safety pins. And then I added these little knitting needles because they're not like actual needles that can poke you. And in the end I added our little sign that we made earlier. And the hat is done as well. The next thing we're gonna do is make the eyebrows. We're gonna cut them and color them. I feel like a hairdresser saying that. <laughs> okay. With the coloring I'm gonna seal it off with hairspray just to make sure that the color doesn't disappear and also that the little hairs stay where they're supposed to stay. New day, new DIY. So the Mad Hatter has these ribbons coming out of his pocket so even though I don't have pockets in my blazer I'm still gonna do it and just fix it to the jacket with a safety pin. So the last thing to do would be to create that bow that he's wearing around his neck and I don't have anything with that pattern on it but I'm gonna use this old shirt 
which is at least dark and then I'm gonna paint on it with acrylic paint because this is something that I'm only gonna use for the costume so it doesn't matter that I can't wash it after. By the way, please ignore the state of my nails. I wanted to get them done ages ago, but I've been so busy, so just ignore them. So now that we have done all the DIYs, it is time to pick up the last pieces out of my wardrobe. I noticed that he's wearing a little vest underneath the jacket, so I'm gonna pick one of those, and a pair of shoes, of course. And yeah, and then we can do the reveal. Not so fast, Paula from the past, because there's actually one thing that is still left to do, and that is the part that I did the most, <laughs> applying makeup, especially because I have to apply this to my whole skin. What I thought might help make this less intense for my skin is to mix it with a good foundation. You know what's the worst part? That next week I'll have to do this again because I'm stupid. Halloween is next week and I thought it would be nice to have the video done before in case anyone wants some inspiration. I should have just waited and then just do it once. The writer, Louis Coral, he... Oh my god, this is like burning my skin. Oh my god, I'm getting an allergic reaction. <laughs> my skin just started to... <laughs> burning <laughs> so much so I had to take it off okay now it's time for the reveal see you in a minute Yeah, see you soon.